Hi friends, this is Vandana. As promised, I am here for a fresh bamboo shoot recipe. This time, it's a spicy pickle recipe, which is so irresistible for anybody who loves this seasonal veggie. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe with the bell icon on to receive notifications of all my upcoming uploads. So, shall we begin? Let's have a look at the ingredients: bamboo shoot, half kg; mustard seeds, half teaspoon. It should be powdered coarsely. Salt, one teaspoon; hing, one by four teaspoon; oil, two teaspoons; red chili powder, two teaspoons. Let us start by cleaning the bamboo shoot. Since the exteriors are fibrous, they can't be consumed. So remove them completely using a sharp knife. We get different varieties of bamboo shoots during summer, winter, and spring seasons. You can choose any variant, and believe me, they are absolutely delicious. If you happen to purchase a bit more this time, be sure to make this pickle. You can store this up to two weeks in your refrigerator. Before starting the preparation, let me remind you that the fresh shoots will have a slightly bitter taste, so we need to resolve that before heading further. I will explain the method in this part step by step. As you can see here, I have removed the exteriors completely. Now let us cut off and remove the upper part. This part is a bit hard and we cannot consume it. Now we need to remove the fibrous felt-like layers from the bottom portion of the shoot. These outer layers at the bottom are quite tough, and they have to be removed completely before cooking the bamboo shoots. If fresh shoots are not available, you can use the frozen ones or the canned ones also. They are completely clean shoots, so we need not spend time for cleaning the shoots as I did here. But I believe always natural is healthy. Though we need to work a bit more, I always prefer fresh shoots. Anyway, let's get back to the recipe. I'm cutting the shoots into paper thin layers like this and this method will completely remove a great amount of bitterness from these fresh shoots. Bamboo shoots are known for their inherent bitterness and many avoid this because of the same reason. But don't worry, follow the recipe step by step and you will not go wrong for sure. Cut them into long pieces. Again, I am reminding you, you can decide the length and thickness, it's totally up to you. A small tip here, the bamboo shoots once cut should be immersed in a bowl of salted lukewarm water immediately after cutting. This actually prevents them from turning brown. Again, we need to wash the uh, cut shoots twice or thrice in lukewarm water. Next up, let's grab a pan or you can choose a pot too. 
add 2 to 3 cups of water bring it to a boil on a high flame while adding half teaspoon salt to it Then finally add the bamboo shoot pieces and cook on a medium flame until done. By the way, did you know that we are not supposed to consume the shoots without cooking in its raw form as it is quite unhealthy. So always cook them properly before consumption. The shoots are done now, I am going to drain them completely. In a pan, we can add a little bit of oil and red chilli powder. If you want the pickle to be spicy, you can add a little more chilli powder. Roast it on a low flame. You can use any oil here but I thoroughly recommend using virgin coconut oil which will make our pickle spectacular. Add the cooked shoot to this and roast for a few more seconds. The boiled shoots retain their crunchy and delicious texture even after cooking them. Keep on roasting till the shoots absorb all the chilli powder completely. Now add the mustard seed powder and mix well. We need to be careful while adding this ingredient as it has got a predominantly strong flavour. So too much will surely spoil your pickle. However, the right quantity in the pickle will make it refreshing, tasty as it not only enhances the flavor but also helps to add more vitamin C to your food. This pickle in itself is rich in vitamin C with bamboo and mustard together for a healthier immune system. Continue roasting for a few more minutes and finally add the heel. Roast it again for a couple of minutes before adding a cup of water. If required, you may add salt and adjust according to your taste. Continue cooking for 5 more minutes on a low flame with a lid on. The shoots will absorb the water and will be ready to be served with dosas, rice or parathas after 5 minutes mark. If you like, you can add a simple tempering with red chilli, a few curry leaves and some mustard seeds. I like the pickle without it, so it's totally up to you. Do not forget to refrigerate the leftovers, if any, in a clean covered glass container. The shelf life of the pickle is around 2 weeks when refrigerated. I generally make it fresh before consuming but invariably it finishes before the end of the day as it's that fabulous and simply irresistible. So do try it and let me know how it went for you. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. I will meet you soon with many more unique recipes. Until next time, bye bye.